guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Alyssa. I'm a Garrett. And we are the Leffersons. Yes, we are. <laughs> Today we're coming at you with a pin tag, but it's yes. no ordinary pin tag. What kind of pin tag is it, Alyssa? It is called you can still travel in your dreams. It is a quarantined pin tag. Because we're quarantined. Yes. Just like most of you. We Yeah, I think we're all quarantined at this point. Yep. Even if you're in another country, I'm sure you're also quarantined. So, happy quarantine. <laughs> Yay! How exciting. This pin tag was created by Valerie over at the Singer Family Adventures and she tagged us, so thank you for tagging us. And we are I'm going to go. I was tagging you. Oh, you were tagging me. I looked like I was like <laughs> punching you. I'm sorry. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and we are just gonna get right into it. So we have some pins and we're actually gonna show you one pin that is new and it is beautiful and We'll we get haven't, there. yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Stay tuned. But let's get started. So, the first pin is show a Disney character traveling on a vehicle of some kind. So, plane, train, car, horse, whatever. And I, of course, I couldn't just pick one because they kind of go together. I picked these two adorable pins of Pooh and Piglet on a train. Now, they're technically two separate pins. Garrett has them combined right now, but we got them in a trade recently and I absolutely love them. I know that they have like a whole set and I do want the entire set at some point. So, oh, there goes Piglet. <laughs> These are older pins. They are both from 2003. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, they're older, but still so magical. Alyssa was only 13 Great. then. <laughs> Let's talk about our age, Garrett. You're older than me. Garrett's birthday is up in like here just a few days. Earth Day! Yeah, Garrett's birthday is on Earth Day, so good times. They created the- We will have a Garrett birthday unboxing because I bought him so many great things. Hopefully they all get here in time. <laughs> Alyssa's like, we should do it live. <laughs> we could. If you guys want us to do it live, let us know in the comments. We might do it live on your actual birthday. I think that would be fun. Okay. okay. We're getting off topic. Let's go on to number two. Show a pin you bought on your most recent Disney trip that brings you happy memories and sad memories at this point because we can't get there. <laughs> So the last time that we were at Disney, it was during the Festival of the Arts. What, yes. what month was that? That was, well, Festival of the Arts is from January through February. It's only for like yeah. a month or a month and a half. We went in the at the beginning of February, I believe. Those vlogs aren't even out yet, so stay tuned. We haven't even started going through those vlogs yet, but. This has our favorite dragon. <laughs> If you are new here, we are not big, huge Figment fans, but we do have a few pins that have Figment on them if they are from an Epcot festival because we love Epcot festivals. And this is the pass holder for it, so we had to pick it up. Of course, and those were just great memories. I mean, any Epcot festival is just a great time. I'm ready to go back. Oh, me too. Next one is show a pin representing a Disney attraction you wish you could ride or go to today. <sighs> So many. Asia. But not only <laughs> just Asia, we want to go on Everest and see the Yeti and scream and go backwards and close your eyes as you go backwards because it feels like your stomach is going to drop out your feet and it's amazing. And then you get ice cream at the ice cream truck after and you just love it. That's literally our routine. Yeah, we always get ice cream after I'm just Everest. I'm angry about it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, but that is such a great ride. Expedition Everest oh. is one of our favorite rides. Now, tip, if you go through the fast pass line and you scan your magic band as you get onto the ride, there's posters at the end of the queue and they change and they put your names on there. Yes, they do. They do. I love the Disney queues and how they like personalize things sometimes and their queue is really cool too. The next one is show a resort pin for a Disney resort you have or you want to stay at. We've stayed at a lot of like the value and moderate resorts. We've only stayed at one deluxe, the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Uh, that was when we got engaged. Yep. And now this other one holds a special place in our heart because yes. it's where we went on our honeymoon because yes. we're those people that honeymoon <laughs> at Disney. <laughs> We're also those people that have Disney YouTube channels, so. Oh, I guess we're all in the same boat. Anyways. <laughs> we're that, <already> there. <laughs> That is Port Orleans Riverside. Yes. So this is a different than Port Orleans 
French Quarter. That one, which we have stayed there. And we do have actual vlogs from French Quarter. We because do. Because we stayed there last summer. Garrett, you're throwing things. Both of the Port Orleans resorts are amazing. Oh, yes. But Riverside, we stayed there for, oh gosh, nine days? Yes, for a hundred. And it felt like we were in our own little apartment. You have Tiana. And actually, if you look back behind her, those are what the hotel blocks look like. They yeah. look like the mansions down south. Yeah. And Tiana's there, and it's wonderful. We stared. We stayed in a, a Tiana themed room. It's like it the was. royal guest rooms where they have like the fireworks that pew out of the, the fireworks that pew. Yeah, pew. <laughs> pew pew. <laughs> We stayed in the royal guest rooms where the beds uh, had the fireworks. They go pew, pew, pew <laughs> behind the bed. <laughs> but they were so great. Number five, show a pin of a Disney character you would like to be your travel pal to travel with and why. I guess you could say it would almost be a travel companion. <laughs> so we chose Baymax. This this was actually the hardest pin to choose because Alyssa was like, well, it makes sense because if you get Corona while you're out there. <laughs> it would be the perfect time for Baymax to travel with you because, yeah, if you were to get the virus, he could be your personal health companion and treat you. And he's cuddly and a great time, so. And he can kick butt. Yeah, he can. If you put some armor on him, there you go. So I think it's a win-win. <laughs> Next one is show a beach pin. And we only have one beach pin. <laughs> this one is from Paradise Pier out in California. And you may say, Garrett, Alyssa, that doesn't have a beach. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. <laughs> it has Goofy out there with a Christmas tree made of sand and a surfboard ready to go. And these were part of the holiday collection. And this is LE of 1200. It's weird because all the ones in that collection are all completely different LEs. Mm -hmm. It's so strange, but we actually have never been to that resort. We ended up getting those at the Disney Outlet store here in Chicago. So like really random. We'll leave that Hello. video linked up here and down below if you want to check that haul out because I even got this in that haul. It was a great haul. We have a lot of fun Disneyland things that we can get at our Disney store. I really want to find someone that's in the pin business and ask them about Ellie. So if you know anybody that's part of the, the pin game, let us know. Garrett just wants to nerd out. Totally. <laughs> All right, the next one is, show a pin from somewhere you want to go to if Corona and money were no object. So what pin represents the travel plans you would make? Definitely not a Disney Cruise. No, that's the last, the last thing place I wanted to do was be right on a boat. Now. But Eventually. I do want to be in somewhere tropical and yes. we both looked at each other and we said, Alani. Alani, for so, sure. We have the Tiki Man, and he's saying, what's he saying? He's saying, Melakalikimaka is the thing to say. So this is I'm part of the Christmas. Hawaiian Christmas uh, Day. There it is. <laughs> so there we go. So we figured that would represent Hawaii. We don't have any Alani pins, but. Someday. It's expensive to go to Alani. It is. It's expensive to go to Hawaii in general, but to a Disney resort in Hawaii, also expensive. But we definitely want to go sometime. Someday. Disney, hit us up. <laughs> yeah. Disney, hit us up. Or Take us to Alani. We'll vlog it. <laughs> we'll vlog it. We would vlog it. We really would. Well, we vlog the tar we out of it. We vlog the mm, out of that. <laughs> we, we just live stream the entire thing. <laughs> oh, boy. The next one is just to show any other travel related pin that you have. We have had this pin for quite some time. This was actually one of the first um, pins that I bought retail. Yeah. Um, and I, I remember buying it. It was at our, on our honeymoon. It was at the Riverside. It was at Riverside <laughs> really and I saw was. it and I bought it as like the centerpiece of my lanyard. Yeah. And it's fly me to the Disney parks because we always fly there. And you know, as soon as you get through security, like you're like, mm, it's time, going to it's on vac, we're, we're on vacation. And I just really want someone to fly me to the Disney parks right now. Uh, so that would be really great. I just, I just, I just want to. <sighs> We're like more than ready to go back. I think everyone is, but, and it's really only been a few months for us, but I, I just want to like, travel. I just want to get out. I just want to go to Disney. So the last set of pins that we're gonna show you are pins from every single Disney park around the world, 
okay? So we have to show a pin from our home park. We're gonna start at our home park, okay. Walt Disney World, obviously. And then we're gonna go to Disneyland, California Adventure, Hong Kong Disneyland, Shanghai, Tokyo, and Paris. So the first one is for Walt Disney World, and this pin we have never showed you. This is what you've been waiting for because it's so beautiful. Are you sure they were waiting for it? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but we were waiting for it. We I were waiting to show you. <laughs> so this is from the brand new collection. It's the Castle Collection. So whenever we saw this, we're like, yeah, this looks cool. And we were not expecting a jumbo pin. I know, so it's huge. So it started off with Cinderella's Castle, and we... It's just, it's massive. Now, it's hold on. I got to so take this off the back of the card. It's okay? so big. Now, you'd have no idea, unless you met me, how big my hands are. <laughs> but this is a massive, there's a list of It's the size of my hand, Because easily. you know how big her hands are. I mean, I have small hands. But still, it's the size of a hand. It's so, huge. So, this is a limited release, and it's of Cinderella's castle. But not only that, if you notice right here, it has a hinge element. And then you can see inside of the castle and it's so detailed you can see every single room so the entire plan with all these castles is each princess is going to get their own castle and i assume they fold open and they have all the details so i know there's like cool. uh mulan i know there's jasmine i know that there's little Rapunzel, mermaid little mermaid yeah uh, uh there's even merida which i'm super excited for so the back of them it is a double pin post because if it wasn't it would literally just fall <laughs> so <laughs> it's a heavy pin too. but it has the limited release on the back there and the this is this is too legit to quit and it represents our home park our <sighs> Well, Disney World, take us back to Cinderella's Castle. And the next time we see it, it's, it's going gonna to be, be different. different. It's, they're painting it right now for the 50th anniversary. I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited to see it. I think it's going to be beautiful. I know everybody's like, change is bad at Disney. Oh, but here's the thing. We love change. It's flipping Disney. Exactly. They're going to do a great exactly. job of it. Change at Disney is good. Change at Disney means that it's just going to get better because mm -hmm. Disney is on top of the game technology wise, like everything. It's yep. on top of it. It's just going to be, it's, everything's going to be better. Yup. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is Disneyland. Which I've never been to. No, but I have. <laughs> growing up, that was essentially your home park, it? Wasn't was, it? Okay. yeah. Growing up, that's like where we went most of the time because we traveled to California a lot. So if you didn't know, and it took me a while to figure this out, Disney World is the most magical place in the world. Mm -hmm. And Disneyland is the happiest place place on earth and people get mad when you get it wrong. yeah you can, you, if you get that wrong they you, they will lynch you i got yelled at so this is a pin and then on the inside it has what are those are those tickets they're like old school tickets because disneyland was the home the original park and when you came to disneyland originally you bought tickets like that that's this what they looked like edcb so i think these are the different tiers of rides if i if i remember correctly well, we were supposed to go to disneyland but that got hosed we were supposed to go to disneyland in july not happening anymore but we're hoping to plan for it next july so july 2021 probably at this point we're coming at you <laughs> up next is hong kong disneyland which we've never been to but we have pins from because they have some of the oh best gosh. pins the on best the pins. earth if you guys have never gotten any hong kong disneyland pins go on ebay go somewhere trade with someone mm -hmm. Their pins are amazing. This is from the Popcorn Mystery Box and it has my boy Eeyore just looking Eeyore task it, task deck. <laughs> um, I, I'm just so excited I can't even talk. <laughs> and he has this sparkly background and these pins are amazing. This is from a mystery pin box set, like I said. Mm -hmm. And um, they're just, they're big and they're vibrant and who doesn't love popcorn? Um, some people don't because it gets like stuck in their teeth and stuff. Oh my God, but who doesn't love Disney popcorn. Like Disney oh, popcorn man. has been it's one of my secret, favorite Disney snacks recently. So staying on the continent of Asia, we're going to Shanghai Disney Resort. Yes. And this is from the grand opening and we got ourselves a Tigger. tigger. And we actually ended up trading this. I don't know if you remember this, Garrett, but we ended up trading this in, I remember exactly where it was. It was in Magic Kingdom and it was in the hat store. If you ever go into the hat store and maybe if you wanna see a video of all the fun places you can pin trade in Magic Kingdom, next time we go, we will try to make it happen. But 
They have a little blind trade oh. in the hat store where you have a box of all these different numbers and you pick a number and you have to trade whatever that is. So I just randomly picked a number and that pin came out. Normally it's like a fake pin or a scrapper or something. So we were super excited to get that. Now apparently pins from this next park are hard to come by. They are super hard to come by. So the next park is Tokyo Disneyland, which if you don't know, Tokyo is not known for their pins. Like legit, they don't really have a lot. They really don't. They have some like open editions when you get there, but we have, I was only able to find one Tokyo Disneyland pin in our collection. And this was because we got it from Magic Launch Bay from Vlogmas, but it's a good one. It is Anna and Elsa and Olaf, and it says Frozen Fantasy. I think from when we got it originally, people had commented saying that it was like a show or something that was going on that was called Frozen Fantasy. It was some event that they had going on at Tokyo Disneyland, but it's a beautiful pin. Look at their faces. Yeah, it's beautiful. Definitely gonna keep that in our collection. Next and well, last, last, but certainly not least. Certainly not least is Disneyland Paris. Now, Paris? we do have a lot of beautiful Disneyland Paris pins, but I feel like we've shared a lot of our LEs with you recently. So we're not gonna show any LEs. We're just gonna show one that I traded actually at Epcot. And it is Marie. Actually, the rest of the video, I'm just gonna do <laughs> this. This is a super duper cute Marie pin. I actually traded this. So when you go to Epcot, when you go to Epcot, that's one of the few places that you can go and trade with like legit pin traders who have like binders of pins. Oh. Binders of pins. Oh. And we've only done it once. We traded that pin for another one. I don't even remember. I think it was like the Muppets pin maybe. We had like a Muppets LE. Yeah, and so we know. traded that with that with them and it was a great trade, like very fun. If you guys are super into pin trading and have a lot of great traders, Epcot is the place to go. And I think it's only like in the afternoon. I don't know. I don't know the specific times and that might've changed too now that the construction is all different. I don't know if No, those people spot. probably still show up. But I don't know if it's in the same spot though. It used to be like right to the right behind Epcot as you're walking in, but I don't know if it's in the same. It was where like all the lights were on the floors. Anyways, off topic, that's where that pin, that's where I got that pin from. So yeah, that's our pin tag. And we'd just love to go to any park right now because... We're not at a park. <laughs> We're not at a park. So don't and we have to tag people? Inside. We do have to tag people. We do. And honestly, I don't know who's been tagged in this. I feel bad because I should have looked this up and I don't know who's been tagged in it. So I'm going to tag a few different people. Do um, it. We're going to tag Daniel and Zach, WDW Aristocrats. Hey, you guys friends. Should do this. We also are going to tag... The Game Boys, Tim and Johnny, you guys should totally do this because I know they have a lot of like... Pins? They have a ton of pins. Okay. So yeah, I'd love to see them do this. And then also Magical Martini. Ooh. I would love you to do this as well. So, I love martinis. <laughs> I love martinis. All right, I think that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below either what your favorite pin was that we showed or if coronavirus and money were no option, where would you travel to right now? It doesn't have to be a Disney park, but where would you wanna go? Italy, China? Well, probably not China right now. <laughs> go see your family that you haven't yeah, seen for see the past family. three months, even exactly. if they're on the other side of the state. Exactly, tell us where you wanna go and we'd love to hear it. And subscribe to our channel for more Disney content. And I think that's it. We'll see you guys later. Bye. See you later.